All right, Asian markets, European markets down again this morning. Futures predicting another bad day in North <laughs> America. People have a lot of questions and concerns about what this means for their investments and for their retirement savings. Joining us this morning is financial planner Robin Thompson. Uh, and Robin, you know, we've been following business through the last two weeks, mm -hmm. and the, the word has been hold steady. It'll mm -hmm. be uncomfortable, but hold steady. And you say take emotion out of it, even though it feels very emotional. Mm -hmm. The market is made up of many things, but fear and greed is definitely two of them. Mm -hmm. And right now, we're in sheer panic. So you see a lot of clients that are genuinely concerned about their finances and their emotions are running quite high. So one of the things that we need to remember as willing participants of the capital markets is that this is part of the cycle. So it's not great to go through a correction. It's not great to see portfolio values fall. But what we do have control over is how we respond to that. What are our emotional responses to how we feel about what's happening in the headlines, what's happening in the markets? And if you make snap decisions and you sell your investments at the wrong time, you could be paying for that for a long time in the future to come because you will have crystallized losses when portfolio values are so low. So you do need to make sure that you're making fundamentally sound decisions and not going off of the panic that's sort of swarming around you. And it is a scary time, no, does, no question. Does it make a difference that this has to do with a virus with still a lot of questions around it that's affecting mm -hmm. the world? This isn't just, you know, trade or, mm -hmm. you know, mad cow disease, which affects one commodity. This is a, a virus that is affecting you know, countries around the world. Mm -hmm. And there's no question you're seeing it in markets around the world. So when it comes to looking at where you are and what you can control is what your home base is. And this is really a time to take a look and, and do a bit of a gut check. So, you know, a lot of, um, you know, people talk about risk tolerance and loss tolerance in portfolios. And sometimes the risk tolerance is, oh, can you take 10 or 15 percent loss in your portfolio over different periods of time? When you go through periods and you see losses and that equivalence to dollar losses in your portfolio, it can have a quite a dramatic impact on, on how you feel about your investment. So really it's about looking at it and understanding, number one, if there's no significant reason other than obviously short-term volatility and scarcity in the market or people being scared, you know, hold your positions. You don't want to be moving in and out of positions trying to time the market. You want to make sure that you continue to hold fundamentally strong investments, that you are properly balanced in a portfolio. So if you have too much equity in your portfolio, you could see your market, the portfolio rising and falling quite significantly. But if you have a well-diversified portfolio, a good mix to fixed income, which is on the safer side and equities and some cash on the side, roll out, like stay with your strategy and don't abandon it when you need it the most. This is why you have it. Yeah, and have a plan, mm -hmm. right? This is what, this is your number one uh, tip. The TSX mm -hmm. had its worst day in 30 years, mm -hmm. we know, on Monday. Mm -hmm. To see big drops in your portfolio is scary. What's your advice to people when they're watching it drop? Mm -hmm. So I, I would say um, there's two sides of that. So one, obviously, is to stay calm and to make rational decisions. And the other is to look at what side of the, of, of the sort of line are you on. If you have a long time horizon to retirement, you have, you know, 10 years before you need access to capital, um, and you have cash on the sidelines, now is a great time to be a buyer of the markets. It's a great time to dollar cost average your way in. Take advantage of some of these cheaper securities or some of these solid companies that have been beaten down and look for the future when the market rallies back up the other side because there'll always be a rally on the other side there's always a correction mm -hmm. there's always a rally there'll be good days ahead now if you are retired and you are drawing income off your portfolio this is an even scarier time yes. for you because you need to sell assets off if you have to in order to meet lifestyle expenses so these conversations i'm having with clients are really about you know can you live off of the distributions and dividends being generated off the portfolio and avoid selling down the assets so you're not crystallizing those losses Look within your financial plan to see if you have your emergency funds that you can use to help your lifestyle expenses and curb some of your discretionary expenses. So don't sell off investments in the portfolio if you can avoid it right now. Allow the market to settle. Allow the, the virus, unfortunately, which is obviously very scary, right. to work its way through. And there will be brighter days ahead. Robin, thanks so much. Sage advice this morning as everyone still has a lot of questions and yeah. concerns. Mm -hmm. uh thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.